most excited about with DP9 is the, the suite of guitar plugins that it has. It's long had a great set of classic guitar plugins, stomp boxes, that kind of thing. But now with DP9, we add Multifuzz, Micro G, Megasynth, some amazing plugins that just give you a lot of sonic control and, and you can have a lot of fun with your audio. The first idea for Megasynth came from just taking the Micro B and the Micro G and just exploding, giving so many more options. And we thought it'd be really cool if we could add some LFOs here or a pattern sequencer or just connect things together in ways that you can't do with those pedals. And the result is extremely fun. Megasynth is great. You can take your guitar and turn it into a synthesizer, which is really fun. You can get these really unique sounds that you really wouldn't think that you would hear out of a guitar. But then you can get really simple sounds too, just like really nice tremolo or tremolo with patterns on it. There's a pattern gate on it that really makes it very interesting. We wanted to make a really attractive UI to make it as simple as possible to connect the signal path through. One of our priorities was to just give the user complete flexibility as easily as possible to connecting what they want together. Megasynth is intended to be a subtractive synthesizer for your guitar or bass. So just like a subtractive synth, you have some voices, uh, filters, amps, modulators, and macro controls. The really cool thing is you can connect them together in any way you want, just like the old school subtractive synthesizers. One of the modulators in the Megasynth is the envelope follower and we actually modelled that from the classic Neutron pedal which you can hear in the clavinet part of the iconic uh, Stevie Wonder's Higher Ground. It's such a great sound that we really really wanted to get that into the Megasynth. <laughs> Although Megasynth was primarily designed for guitar and bass, you can put any audio through it. So through vocals, for example, if you need something to spice something up, or even connect your keyboard through an instrument triggered by it. The thing about Megasynth is that you can literally spend hours in front of it. You just don't get bored. There's so many options, and graphically, it's really engaging. With Megasynth you can do anything from actually making the same kind of noises as Micro B and Micro G to just making some weird space age stuff, there's just endless possibilities.